not screw up a job. <laughs> so what are we doing here today, Connor? We're taking off the store and putting a new one in. Why are we doing that? Because the homeowner asked us to. <laughs> Any more reason than that? So we got rot here. Door starting to even rust. This is rotten, and this is rotten. And here it's not bad here, but it's not good down in here. Is rotten. Um, this door is stationary. We thought we were gonna try to just maybe cut some out here, but you really can't get in there behind that door. A lot of the reason, and Connor, I meant to tell you this too. A lot of the reason this is this deck is just too high. You really need to have the deck sitting a couple inches below this so water doesn't, if we were up north or wherever where it snows, you see how that would be a problem? If snow just piled up in there and went in. So the deck's a little too high. There's not much overhang up here. You could use a storm door. So anyway, we're gonna pull this door out and put us a new one in. We've already got our measurements from side to side. Top to bottom, most doors are all 80 inches. But this one is 60 inches wide. It's a little bit more narrow than most. What we normally do is very carefully take a knife and cut this caulk all the way around because it'll peel that paint off. And when you're pulling this trim, if you don't do that. So we're gonna pull this trim off all the way around. We've got this little bit of an issue to slide it out of there. And then we'll just kind of go from there. We'll be in and out with the camera. Try to save that trim so that we can reuse it. But that's where we are. All right, so we got all the trim out. Now Connor's just gonna take the, take the go ahead, take the blade and just see if he hits any nails or screws. So we have some rotted wood right there. Right, Connor? Yes, sir. <laughs> See, that, that's how he works. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> so we're getting some wood put back in place for that. Um, we've got some flashing. We're gonna roll this flashing out while this deck board is missing. We're gonna take the flashing and take it out and bring it over here and then put the deck board back on top. Hopefully keep water from running in. We'll also put a bead of caulk at the bottom of the door once it's in. And also this door was a little too or a little too narrow 
So we took this J channel off. We'll end up putting the J channel back on and putting a side and back in there. We're just going to move the J channel over about a quarter or inch or half an inch. And um, everything will hopefully line up just right. So now what we're going to do, uh, flashing. We'll do that and we'll check back in in a minute. Okay, so here's where we are. We had to shim the door up with some boards here. We had to put a, another piece of wood in here anyway, but we put uh, uh, actually a three pieces of wood in there so that it would reach at the top. So we got that in, we got it flashed, and we got our deck board back down. So we got this flash and it goes all the way back in here. Um, and I, that'll keep water from running it up under this thing. So, and we've got this J channel and um, siding out. When we put the door in, we're gonna come all the way here it already goes up there just right and we'll put our channel in like i said and tie it all back in so now all we got to do is set the door in um plumb it up and install it it works <laughs> i got some um a, a, a kitty hard hat and belt um, what is it? Tool belt. I need to start letting you wear it and do the home inspector. All right, we're all done, Connor. <laughs> all trimmed out. Yeah. Uh, we didn't use, there was some insulation in it. We didn't use that. We had some spray foam. So we got that in there. Um, it's caulked up, painted up. to go it's gonna work good I had to drill holes in the bottom and top for these to latch oh and he had he got those pieces and i had to leave and go do a couple of estimates so connor finished us up um did get the j channel back in and the pieces of vinyl back in and you can see this flashing it doesn't look good we're gonna have to come up with something to put down there or 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 something I ain't quite sure um even a i don't know i thought about a, a, a deck board cut to fit we'll have to do something there they'll have to do something see what they want to do um but <clears throat> that's a whole lot better than it was there's flat there was no flash in there there is flash in there now that'll prevent and that goes down in down in down below us a few inches so that's going to help keep water out of here I just noticed we don't have any caulk right here. So we'll put some caulk in there and in there and that'll keep that door. It'll prolong it, it'll help it, prevent it from um, drawing water in. This piece is made out of some kind of vinyl or composite so it shouldn't rot. Um, hey Connor, we need the caulk gun one more time. Yeah, we're gonna put it in the back of the trailer. But anyway, all in all, turned out really good. Got that piece of blue tape on there because I got some glue holding this security button on. But that's a wrap. This one took us a lot longer than normal. But we had to, had to shim the bottom a few times. Had to get some wood in the top that you can't see in there just for um, shim pieces to give it something to hold on to. I want to get some caulk right there on both sides, please. Back at the trailer.